Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be opening more Pokemon cards. But no, well, Pokemon cards, Pokemon tin. So we've got the Rotom V box today, and we're going to be unboxing it, and also showing you the cards that we get inside. I also bought some new, uh, well, cases for each of the cards that we get, which are especially rare to uh, each of the packs. So yeah, I hope we uh, get some nice pulls. And if you're already subscribed, well, why don't you go there and then do it? And also, don't forget to like and also turn on notifications so you get notified every time I do a video. Thank you, and we'll get right into it. And as you can see, we've got the tin right here. It looks quite cool. Uh, you got the orange, you got the card in the middle with the clear case at the front. So why don't we... Pop open this tin from the top here, as you can see, and there you go, we have our first card, it's got a nice little pattern around the outside, it's pretty cool packaging, uh, why don't we just take that out, we've got the packs in the middle here, let's just quickly uh, take this guy out of the packaging, and of course with every Pokemon tin, every human box, even a pack, you get a nice lovely code, there we go. Oh, you can see that there you go and we'll put that to the side and here is the promo but like in the last episode or i mean the last unboxing of pokemon uh we will show every promo card that we get at the very end okay and within the tin you get this black thing just to hold the cards together i'm just gonna and then you have the whole tin itself. So let's just put the lid on. And let's just uh, check what's on the side of this tin, shall we? So we've got the card that we've just got on, uh, the Pokemon logo. Uh, forgot his name, I don't know. Gartinia, uh, and also the Rhythm guy. So that is the tin series of this, and we're going to move on to the packs and opening of the cards uh, right now. Okay, now we're ready to open the pack, so let's go ahead and do that. So the packs that we got was a Lost Origin, another Lost Origin, a Fusion Strike, and another Fusion Strike. Well, of course. So we've got two fusions and two lost origins. And as you can see, we've got some clear sleeves ready to use. Okay. I'm gonna firstly use, I'll open up a fusion strike with a nice little, nice little lightning dog there, as you can see. So I'm gonna quickly open this up. Can be a very nice pack, I think. Hopefully, we have good luck, not like normal. <laughs> mm. Let's put that to the side. There uh, is the coat for you guys if you want it. There we go. And we go one, two, three, four, and we put it to the front. We have I'm sorry about that little cut there. Sorry about that little cut. Uh, I think something just went wrong. Uh, okay, we'll just start from the deck. A psychic type. A marsh stomp. Elder Girls. Dark Loak. Eevee. Original. Shelder. Voltorb. Passage, Qfant, a Huntail, and a Kagus. Can I'm gonna put that away, but I'm gonna put this in the sleeve. Real quick. Just gonna keep that in the sleeve, and I'm gonna put it to the side. Okay. We're gonna do another. Uh, now we're gonna do a Lost Origin now. Got a nice little guy on that. Uh, 
It didn't used to be this hard to open. <laughs> Side. And a little bit code for you guys if you even play the game or not. Ugh, it's not loading. <laughs> oh well guys, you can you can still see that, right? This pack doesn't really look that good. It seems like this is a lot of chipped bits. So whatever card it is won't be that valuable. Uh, a psychic energy, a haunter, polywhirl, uh, a licky licky, litwick, snova, rye horn, a porn, Rosalia, a mimikyu, and a rifle. Okay, a geo cannon, or a tentacle, you know, gotta love that. Put that this bad boy into a sleeve. And we're probably gonna go back to another fusion strike. And also if you guys have not followed me on Twitch, go ahead and do that now. It'll probably pop up on the screen anytime. I'll probably sneak it in there. You know, try and get you to follow it. <laughs> oh well. Water Energy, a Breloom, Cross Switcher, Garbodor, Drillba, a Bumby, Bunnelby, a Mudkip, a Caterpie, a Morpico. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, Rookedy, and a Swampert. Hollow. Hollow. I think you can see that. Okay. Uh, we're gonna put these two into some sleeves. Put that bad boy there. And put this guy inside it. And we have our last pack of the day. And also, don't forget guys, at the end of the video we'll go through every single card that we've got and probably evaluate the best qualities and also showing what it probably is worth and probably what it's not and what it's not going to be i just hope that we get a good card in this last pack fire energy oh damn gastrodon arc phone medicham Litleo, Meowfu, Litwick, Snova, Rhinehorn, Hello Game. Oh, okay. We got a little V, Pidgeot V. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty cool, pretty cool. And the Gengar that we got as well. Oh, we're going to put these in sleeves and also put. The promo card that we got inside of this tin as well in there. Just put that in there. And put this guy in here. There we go. Let me just do that. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get our little guy from the tin here. The Rotom V. This new guy, and put him into a sleeve as well. We're also going to evaluate all of the cars that we've gotten in the packs. We'll start with the promo first, and we'll start working our way up to the things. So, we obviously got the uh, Rotom V. And Telling to the card, okay, it's good light, good work, but it is a bit bent as you can see, so it won't really go for that much. Also, it's got a big chunk up here, as you can tell from down here, bigger, a bigger chunk, but the sides, no, this is a bit thinner, and this is a bit thicker. This would probably go for like probably nothing, uh, it would probably go for the normal price of like. 
probably 50p since you can get it in the tin 50p 20p maybe um, and we're going to look at the Pidgeot V so this is the one that we actually got inside of a pack and as you can see we've got vanishing wings and flight surf good shine to it uh, again a bit girthy at the bottom here uh, I don't know about sides let's see the sides um, I'd probably say a bit girthy on the right here by a bit than the left color looks all right uh, is there any chipped bits on the top there no don't see need to see any although the artwork looks good uh, it's just the girth, really, of the uh, the card on the back, and just ruining it to like its normal price of like probably 25p, 5p maybe. Uh, we've got the Gengar. Now, already by looking at this card, we can already tell that it's a bit girthy on the right here and a bit girthy at the bottom, so it probably wouldn't be looking too good on the back. And also, it's got a little chipped edge here. The white going on there. Uh, you can see it right there in the pack. You can see the little griddle of it. We got the Rookity. Uh, I would say it's a pretty looking good card. Uh, but all out of the concern, you can already tell that it's already girthy uh, and that it's not going to fit well into the deck. And if we go to the Swampert, it looks okay, but it still uh, looks bigger on the left here, uh, a little bit bigger on the top, and also got a little white line on the top, so we probably won't go for that much, probably go for the uh, normal price of 25 to 5p. Um, this Mimikyu looks okay to start with, but if we just look around the edges, it's a bit white, a bit white. Um, looks okay uh, probably PSA 6 5 maybe so we'll probably go for a bit more than the other cards that we've seen and uh, now the Huntail no it's just not gonna work out it's, it's bigger bigger and yeah all right all right card in the first place so these are the cards that we got and I said uh, I say that we got a pretty good haul fit into the Pokédex of uh, special cards and uh, yeah I hope you uh, like this unboxing I'm just gonna go straight back to face cam so guys I hope you did enjoy this unboxing video of that Rotom V10 but also hit that subscribe button hit the like button and also turn on notifications because there will be a new video coming out soon uh, this video would be coming out next week, hopefully, and I'm going to show you every special card that I have, and that is actually valuable. So, we will also look through the cards, it will probably be a long video, but it is worth it, because some of the cards that are in here are very old, uh, but they're not like the red text, you know, like when they're not first editions, they're not second editions, but... They are very valuable, uh, I quite like these cards, and I hope you guys will stay tuned for that video, but also, got to say again, see you in the next one, bye bye. <laughs>